The caption style is used to format the captions of figures and tables and you can find it in the styles gallery or if you don't see it there just open the styles pane and it will be listed here. All you need to do is right click and go to modify it. We need to change the font color. The default option in this case is italics, just remove that. The font must be the same as the rest of the document, so in my case this is Arial. And the font size could be the same size as your text, or it could be a little bit smaller. The default option for me is 9, which is way too small. My normal style is size 11, so I can have my captions also size 11 or a little bit smaller. I'm going to choose size 10. 10 is probably the lowest you could use because any lower than that and it becomes a bit difficult to read. If your font size is a little bit smaller than your text, you could also make your captions bold if you prefer, but it's entirely personal preference. The default option is for the captions to be formatted with the same alignment as the text. So in my case, this is fully justified. If you prefer to have your captions centered, you can choose this option. And if your headings are also centered, that will make it nice and consistent. However, in my case, my headings are left aligned. So I'm just going to keep the captions formatted the same way as my text. The captions are always more compact than the rest of the text. They need to stand like a nice, neat label. So by default, they will be single spaced, which is absolutely fine. So we can keep it. If your text is double spaced, then maybe have your captions as one and a half line space. So they're more compact than the text, but not drastically different than it. In my case, my text is one and a half line spaced. So single line spacing makes perfect sense for my captions. Once you have set up your font, font size, any bold options if you prefer, the color, the alignment and the line spacing, you can go to the format button and open the paragraph options. There's no need for any indentation, anything special. All you need to set up is a spacing option. And because in this case, the caption will be positioned under the figure or table, we need to make sure the space before is small and the space after is a bit bigger to separate it from the following text. And because the caption is single spaced, we need to make sure we have an extra distance added after it to make sure it's clearly separated from the following paragraph. So 18 points should be sufficient. And then we'll need to go and check the line and page breaks. We cannot use keep with next because the following paragraph doesn't need to be under the caption. The caption could be the very last thing on the page because it's under the figure or table. Unfortunately, because the caption is under the figure, we cannot use keep with next. We need keep with previous, but there is no such option. So there's no automatic option to control the figure and the caption to stay together. So when you're ready with your document before it's finalized, have a look through all your figures and make sure they're not separated from the caption. But keeping lines together is useful in case your caption ends up a bit long. This will make sure it always stays as one block and doesn't split between pages. So select this option, click OK to confirm all the changes in the paragraph options and OK to finish the changes in your caption style. And now to create a caption with a new text, you simply need to position the cursor under the figure table you're captioning. And then from the references tab, there's an option to insert caption. And from here, you'll need to choose what are you captioning? Is it a figure or table or equation? So in my case, that is a figure. And if you want, you can also include a number of the heading above. All you need to do is tick this option, include chapter number, and then you choose your separator. Do you want the caption numbers to be 1.1 .1 or 1-1 one hyphen one or 1-1? One one? It is entirely personal preference. This numbering is useful if your figures and tables are only within the main text. However, if you have figures and tables within your appendices, you would not have heading numbers within the appendices. So that will cause a problem. In that case, it's better not to include this option and give simple consecutive numbering and click OK to create your caption. After the caption number, you can just leave a space or if you prefer, you, you can put a colon and then space or a dash and a space or a hyphen and a space. It is entirely up to you. It's personal preference. However, you have to make sure it's consistent throughout the document. All figures and tables must look the same throughout the document. I'm just going to leave a space.
And for your tables, you have to do exactly the same. But when you go to insert the caption, simply change the label from a figure to a table. In this particular case, because the table is just above a heading, I'll need to go and create the empty space and the computer will automatically assume that's another heading. All I need to do is change it to normal style and then I can insert my caption again. And that's all the captions done. Using automatic captioning like this has two big advantages. First of all, the computer will make sure that all numbers are correct. And if you insert another figure or table in between your existing ones, it will renumber them to make sure the numbering is consecutive. Or if you delete a figure or table, the same thing will happen. It will renumber all the existing ones. And second, it will allow you to easily insert list of your figures and tables after your table of content.